Hello and welcome back to D&D with High School Students, Season 5. It's been a long time, like two, maybe three months almost. But we took a summer hiatus and that summer hiatus turned into fall hiatus. And now we're back. So in case you haven't watched this show in a long time, I'm Bill Allen and I make adventures. And then on my left are two people who are playing creatures that are very interesting. So Harris, who are you and who are you playing? I'm, uh, I'm Harris Nandon. I'm a sophomore. I'm playing Florian Meadow. He's a satyr. He's a goat man. He's also a monk. and he's, He punches people, but he also summons his ghost tree friends to punch people as well. He's very fun. Josh? I'm Josh. I'm a senior. And I play Akram, a Leonin barbarian, uh, who has found a new uh, appreciation for the finer things of the forest. Well said. Across the table, Ellen. <clears throat> well, I'm Ellen, and I'm playing Winifred Birch, uh, Cider Cleric, Grave Cleric, uh, with a lot of birds um, who really likes messing up in catters. Yep, that's, that is accurate. Cat. Uh, hi, I'm Cat. I'm playing Larkathalot, um, a level six warlock, Charlton, uh, recently discovered Fengari, aka Shifter. Mmm, shifty, shifty indeed. So, we left off where you guys had just been an instrumental part of the defense of Nero Stema from an invasion from the sea. Um, and perhaps you, you discovered some things that you didn't know before. Your characters maybe had heard of such creatures, um, but had never really encountered them. And now you have, and have fought them diligently. To, to repel that invasion and save uh, Nero Stamo. And as such, you were rewarded. Each of you were given a gift, not directly, mind you, but from the crowned bishop. You were, you were allowed to choose a gift, and uh, each one of you chose an interesting gift. Harris, what, in fact, did you choose? Well, um, I'm pretty sure I got this, this wind elemental ring or something. I'm, I'm excited to see what it does. I hope I get to fly. Flying seems fun. Indeed. Josh? I chose the Earth Ring. The earthiest of the rings. Yes, it is earthy indeed. All right, Ellen, what did you choose? I chose the orb of like unimaginable horror that I probably shouldn't have, but I wanted to. Yeah, you chose the small black marble. Good. All right, Kat, what about you? Chose the, the fire ring. The fire ring. Yep. The twist okay. is that the, the, it's just a small black marble. It's almost it's not like we're forming a fellowship. It is. It's a sort of, maybe, with rings. A fellowship of, of rings. Vermont yeah. doesn't get a ring. Yeah, Vermont did not oh, get a ring. Oh, should have key was a... You did sense a little bit of low-key racism when you brought up the <laughs> option <laughs> for your familiar friend slash beast companion <clears throat> member of the Scaptor species to... Uh, Spectre race. Spectre race to to be able to give, you know, receive such a massive gift and you were abruptly denied. I can't believe so, Vermont his water. How much running. time has passed? Uh, Did you bother to take a long rest before embarking leaving Nerostema? Oh yeah. I'm just I curious. Yes. I think we Or did you want to travel immediately no. under the condition of exhaustion? I we maybe think we would leave no. I we're also a little I, I would like to offer a suggestion. Hmm? We leave the city, as in go outside the walls, and we sleep there. But there's monsters outside. Uh, all right. I'm tired. Okay. Okay, so long rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, long rest. Yay, D&D 5e means that all of your wounds are healed, and you get all of your spells and long rest abilities back, because you slept for eight hours. Yeah. If I got shot, just to be clear, in reality, if I got shot and I slept for eight hours, it would not just magically heal, but here it does. So you have, you just have a new appreciation. Maybe I don't know about shot, you, but if I get mortally wounded, I just go take a nap. I'm pretty much fine. Yeah, yeah. like he got appendicitis. He I got appendicitis. Woke up One of the parts I took a nap and I was gone when I woke. It was a solid eight hours, though. I mean, let's be honest. That eight hours really makes a difference. Strong. And they were like, "What is it, Josh? It's Andy." All right. So all of you feel much better, and you get a nice bowl of um, 
some seafood chowder before you go for breakfast, and then off on your merry way you go. Tell me, friends, where would you like to go? If you recall, Nero Samos kind of on the southeast coast of this continent. Right. Um, you know that going back southwest would lead you eventually to the city of Ohiro, the largest and most densely population populated settlement, um, certainly in the region, possibly on the continent. Or you could go due west, traversing back through the deep and ancient forest, and even further beyond into the mountains. Or you could just go north or northwest to lands that you've never been to. Well, don't we need to go find the go old to the, guy? Yeah. yeah, there's the old, the old guy, the the wizard. The, there's something yeah. to do with because he's the got dragon? like Grease Seal, the dragon. It's yeah. like one of the. That's the one. Yeah, because yeah. It, it's like one of like the seven or something. Did we tell the people in that city about the oh. dragon? No, they know. Well, the dragons. Well, they already know about the dragon. Uh. Yeah, we told them. I sure hope we did. What are you? You only have so many little paws. I'm trying to count. Of... I'm sorry. Don't seven. 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 Yeah, seven. Wait, seven, seven one. Okay. Dragons. I so I will trade. say that Ooh. you you were able to replenish um, your water skins certainly with fresh water, and uh, I don't know how are you guys doing on rations. We hunt. Oh, the, that's right. The create food and water spell. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I one, knew there was some reason why reality level, didn't exist in this game because you broke it. Okay, Florida so you really know you walk out away. you walk out of this this city mm -hmm. feeling very proud of yourselves mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. helped them defend against this invasion, which certainly would have, without your help, gone very very differently. Oh yeah, we had the rock guys. Walking west, going to the mountains. Yeah. So. Okay, uh -huh. you travel, you make your way. Um, the weather is actually very decent. You travel for a, a full day, uneventfully. Night falls, you are now at the edge of the Great Forest. And the Great Forest, you remember, you'd have to traverse to get back to the mountains. As we're traveling, um, while we're not really doing anything, if we're someone looking out, Auckland's gonna be looking for just like wild berries that you know he knows that are safe, any small animals, larger animals for food. Go ahead and make that survival check. Uh, quick question. Is the rings we have, do they require attunement or anything? Most certainly, Does because they... as you are holding them and or wearing them, they look pretty, but they don't do anything. Right. Does the orb acquire attunement? So what, were your, what was your 12? <laughs> okay, yeah, you answer. find some berries and you trap a rabbit along the way. It is now nightfall. You are at the edge of the forest, the great forest. Would you like to go into it, or do you want to just camp outside of the forest? What's, what are your it's thoughts? It's night, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think we camp outside and then start going in in the morning. As you're kind of making your way, as, as the sun is is setting, you, you have very dim light and you come across a spot that looks like someone camped here before. And then you realize it was you who camped here before. <laughs> Wait, who was that guy that like uh, came up to us? He had like his Offer chaps out or something. <laughs> Off a rock, yeah. Off a rock. He was, he was, I don't know. Oh, I wrote it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should mention, I'm sorry, because you were hunting and gathering and stuff along the way, you, I would say you saw fairly fresh tracks, like three days old maybe, of, of, of a large migration of people and hooved animals Where? that you feel would be representative of the scope of the tribe that you saw, and they seemed to all be going north from whence you last saw them. We're going west? They seemed to be going north. Yeah, you were going west. These okay. these seem to be going north. And you all know very little about what's north on this continent. You know that there's there aren't a lot of settlements, and if there are, they're not big. Um, you've been to pretty much what you think are the two biggest settlements uh, in the southern region of this continent. And you're fairly certain that Ohiro is the biggest and Nero Stamos second to Ohiro. So if there are any settlements, they would be very small. But otherwise, the lands to the north are very wild. Anyone have history? <laughs> no? No. No. Remind yeah. the so, highest intelligence <laughs> this party is 12. 12! So, so yes, um, you're... 
You're fairly certain that the lands to the north are very wild. Do you know much more than that? Nope, not really. That's fair. Appropriately. Okay, so over the sun the, sets. Over the long rest, I'm gonna, or at least before I go to bed, I'm gonna try to attune to the ring I have. Oh, you'd like to spend some time attuning to the ring. Right, like are you all doing this uh, in a camp with a fire or just a camp where you sit in the dark with each other? Uh, dark. Yeah, it's fine. Does everyone have dark vision? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. Right. No. No. We, we don't. I, 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 I feel like the light of the moon would give you about 10 feet of visibility. So you can see your, your precious and you can mm -hmm. attune to it and know oh. about it. Florian, Florian goes, oh, I can see in the dark. And then like uh, magic antlers just grow out of his head and he activates his uh, visage of the astral self. And now I have 300 foot dark vision. There we go. That's me. I knew there would be his some eye, ability that breaks His eyes game. are also like glowing weirdly. Oh, I can see in the dark. And yeah. He has like this weird helmet made of antlers. So now. curiously, so when you cool. activate this, it costs a point of, of key. Key? key. Oh god, oh god, key. oh god. I'm getting more flashbacks. Declan <laughs> pronounces it Kai, <laughs> okay. which is about the worst way you could do that. Dear white people, it's not Kai. <laughs> it might be key, but it's definitely Chi. But it's okay to say key. I, I'm okay with that. Um, your, your spectral vision grants you this dark vision. But as you start to sit and, and kind of examine this, uh, this ring, this gift that you've been given, go ahead and make an arcana check. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's an eight. It is very well crafted. As I mentioned before, it looks like something that was extremely well crafted. What your dark vision grants you a knowledge of is that this metal looks different. It's not not jewelry that's made of of gold, perhaps, or silver, or even a ring forged in platinum. It looks like a different sort of metal. Great. It has kind of a dull gray tone with ever so slight of a green tinge to it. It's lead. <laughs> it is, it is, it, that occurs to you, so foolishly you're like, hmm, I'm not going to try to bite it. Yeah. It is not a soft metal and your teeth hurt. Florian dies All right, so you, poisoning. Florian is deeply involved in studying and, and attuning with, trying to attune with his ring. Uh, what is Occam doing during this time? I'll take second watch. He's gonna grab the ring, he's gonna put it next to the sword, and he's gonna fall flat on the ground and fall asleep. Face first. Okay. Into a tune, at Face least. first or back first? Face first. Okay. Touching okay. the ground. Sure. Very interesting. Um, I'm gonna let you make an arcana <laughs> check, but I'm going wait, wait, wait. But I'm gonna give you a plus four to that roll. Yeah. 23. The best intelligence check Occam has ever made in that his is. life. He's so smart. <laughs> He's All right. so, smart. so smart. You are sleeping and you begin dreaming. Now what's odd is that this dream is very lucid. Like as if you feel like you were actually there experiencing this. You dream that you are standing on a, a high mountain peak and you were overlooking a, a, just an endless range of mountain. And it seems to go on for, for just to the horizon. And you feel like these mountains are old and it is silent all around you. There's no, there's no sounds of people or animals. You don't see any animals, you just see the mountains. And you feel their, their ancient uh, existence, their, their timeliness below you, and you feel like a strength drawing from being there with these mountains. Do you, hear wind? you sense that there's no wind. It is weirdly, eerily silent. Not in a way that makes you afraid, though. In a way that somehow grants you comfort. You feel below you like a tingling from the mountain itself, like tremors, like you, you sense movement and, and you kind of casually turn over your shoulder and you see some some rocks kind of just naturally like sort of tremor and then there's a little rock slide. Nothing that threatens your existence, but you sense that that movement is happening. That dream continues and, and sort of uh, feels timeless, like you're not sure how much time has passed. How lucid is this? Can I like freely move and? You could. 
And I'm like, am I on the peak or am I near the peak with some rock behind You were near a peak. Yeah. I'm going to step out onto this face, kind of gather the vision, uh, like what, what I see before me. Um, and just, is it endless? Is it a pattern? Uh, like, is there like no. repetition of no? These are actual distinct different mountains and ranges of mountains. I think for a while, Occam takes in this site. Um, do I have my weapon on me? My sword and the ring? Yep. I'll draw both, examine them. Do they appear any different? No. No. Your weapon appears normal. The sword appears the same way that you perceived it in your waking world. Okay. Um, I'll come back to you. What is Winifred Birch doing around the non-existent campfire? I want to attune to this orb. Tell me what you do. So, in for, she's like, looking, she like has like a costume eyes. So, Miss, Miss, Mister, Mister. What are what are Taik's pronouns? <laughs> What's they, they, uh, all right. Taik is a genderless divinity. Based, okay. Uh, all right. Mm, makes a Taik person. I really want this orphan to do something cool, and I'm really worried that they just gave me a marble and that I'm not gonna get a cool ring now. Uh, so could you help me learn what it does? <laughs> There is no response. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. Your whole, I'm just to be clear, yeah. you have the marble in your hands. Yeah. You're deeply mm -hmm. in prayer. Mm -hmm. Make a percentile roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this is not reminiscent of anything, I'm sure. This is absolutely is not divine intervention. 85. You don't feel any divine contact and or inspiration. All right. Ooh. Make a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 10. I rolled a four. Ho oh, ho. Okay, duly noted. Cat, what are you doing? I am also attuning to my magic item. How? I am going to take out the fire ring and put it on. And hold it over the campfire? Oh, oops. <laughs> no, and sit there. You're, you're going to put it on and sit there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks great. It actually is a really no, no, nicely no, no, forged you, you don't ring. You clearly don't. You misunderstand me. I am going to sit there and I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to get this ring to work. Spring is gonna start working. Yep, you're, <laughs> do you're thinking about it. What it's supposed to do. It's It's got those little symbols that maybe uh -huh. look like fire. I'm a it doesn't look like silver. It's not burning your hand because it's not made of silver. It's, Uranium. But it's it's got this <laughs> gray kind of metallic, dull gray metallic thing with a little greenish tint. I'll flick it a couple yep, of times. Yep, very hard. It's your fingernail cracks. Mm -hmm. No, not really, but. Um, you you were just sitting there with it. You spend some time thinking about it. You, anything else that you add to this? I might study. You know, poke it with like a prestigitation like once, like channel a little magic into that thing. What, what kind of specific effect from the prestidigitation? It's not light like of a fire. big puff, like a light, poof, light, like light just, of fire. just putting magic. A, a, is prestidigitation able to make sparks and fire? Yeah. Oh. Okay, make an Arcana check. You get a plus four to the roll. If only Occam manages this. to make a successful Arcana check, I lose Fifteen. I'm just gonna run really fast. You're like, spark, spark, spark. And you know prestidigitation, and it doesn't make big sparks, but when you're going spark, 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 it goes <laughs> like, like torchlight level. And, and, well, you're asleep. 
you're sitting there like me he he and and you're sitting there praying and, and you're getting like it's like somebody is flash bulbing your camp bright flashes of, of like yeah, it's like two foot i think i think he turns just like Florian's sitting like Florian's sitting it like seems this. to like react big, to like, engagement with can flame. i take out um my can we just like retcon that I have an oil flask? Wait, I have to check. <laughs> <laughs> I have torches. I have like, torches. What? I have torches. Tinderbox. Tinderbox. Okay. I take out like my my tinderbox. Okay. You tinderbox and light a torch. No, is it tinderbox? A tinderbox like, is just like a tinderbox is a little box that has like Does anyone have any oil? And steel and it's got little dry oil tinder. or gunpowder. Oh, What's a gun? Um, <laughs> that doesn't exist in mind. <laughs> when he pulls oil. a gun out, no. <laughs> Why would I oil. Have oil? oil. Occam snores. Occam, any fish oil, perhaps? Occam is face down in the dirt, like... <laughs> <laughs> He'll be all right. Mm -hmm. You wanted to set something on fire? I just want to try it. Try setting I something on fire? I just think it would be funny. What? what? I just want... I just want to try it! Well, what do you want to set on fire? Nothing, I want to set the oil on fire. Well, the oil's got to go somewhere, Yeah, Lord. in my mouth, and I blow it. What? <laughs> That's how you burn your it's mouth. It's like a little spark box on my finger. Uh, are you putting the oil like in your mouth? Trick. Wait, Wait, so you're going to do this and then, drink. and then... You're going to drink oil? No, it's, I just hold it in my mouth. No, this is going happen. to be how you guys earn money now. You're going to create a circus. Yes. Well, all right. <laughs> and Lark will be the fire breather. The eight foot lean and the fire breather. Uh -huh. I don't all have right. oil. You can, maybe you just throw it in a fire yeah, or something. I don't really have it. You're no fun. All right, yeah, I'm going to light, light a torch. I mean, I'm, okay. I'm all for you using do. some fire every once in a while. But you're you're wearing the ring safe. when you do this? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay. Nothing happens when you're sparking, just sparking. But you have a torch lit now. What do you, what do you want to do? Hold it in front of the ring. Okay. And I blow on it. The the fire from the torch moves a little bit. Can I put the fire in front of the ring and then blow on it? Are you bringing the ring really close to the fire? Yeah. Okay. When you do that, it it when you're like instead of the flame just blowing a little bit, it goes and the flame almost breathes like it gets brighter and bigger for a moment and then kind of retracts almost as if you were putting fuel into it can i take the torch handle and put the ring on the torch handle uh no the torch like is thicker than a okay i wouldn't okay. A nuclear we build a nuclear are you still wearing the ring yes okay all right, you are thinking, you have gained some insight. You feel like some sort of interaction with fire is part of understanding this ring's power. Winifred Birch. Yes. <laughs> You're feeling tired. It's mm -hmm. been a long day of travel. Mm -hmm. You, are you staying up for the first watch or are you going to sleep? Lauren, are you doing the first watch with the antlers on? Or? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh. Um, Take the third watch. Okay. What do you do with your marble? I just I don't want you to lose it. So in my pocket. Okay. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> eat okay. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> I mean. Oh. All right. If I eat it, what happens? If I put it in my mouth for like a split it second, what happens? It tastes like rock, like a smooth rock. You know. What I mean, kind of rock? What kind of rock? Like. Igneous. I mean, like and, any. And it, it, it just it just kind of tastes like mineral, basically. Awesome. Like okay. it has yeah. a plain sort of flavor. Put your water. It's in my pocket. Um, it's okay. a bath bomb. That's all it is. Smash cut to dreaming. Actually, this wouldn't be a smash cut, really. It would be more like a... <laughs> Occam's dream. I think Occam is like standing, looking out across these mountains. Yeah. There's a xylophone when you the need mountains, one. <laughs> the um, mountains don't change. They're still there. They I'm feel very to secure. Get to the peak of this mountain. Oh, you climb? Yes. Okay, you climb up. As you climb up this mountain, you feel like your movement speed is not decreased at all. You feel like like you're climbing all fours, but it's it's as if you're just walking down a level path. Like it's just easy. You find like handholds and just different spots, and you climb up, and in no time you were at the literal peak of this mountain. 
ice, snow kind of all around it. And you were at this this point where you were you were above the clouds now. And you see clouds. And occasionally in this plane of clouds, you just see mountain peaks in the distance. But you were on one of the tallest of these mountain peaks with just the rock of this mountain below you. I'm going to take my sword, and as I thrust into the air, I'm going to use my lean-in race feature, Dauntless Roar, and scream out the name, Ganog. Not this again. <laughs> my good friend, Ganog. All right, I want you to make a percentile roll. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> She's so 96. That was a 99 for a second. It's going to be like, ooh. In the dream, when you say that name, it doesn't come out as Ganog. What do I hear? You're like, in your mo- your mouth moves as Ganog, but you hear in your head a different word. And the the, the word that you hear is Ayuk. Ayuk. Can I get a spelling for that? Sure. Um, A Y U U K. I have a very important question. When he yells Ganag, does he yell Ganag? <laughs> yeah, it's world? important. That is an excellent question. Yes, he does. <laughs> During his slumber, you just hear Boy, like, Ganag. Sitting, he just hears Ganag. Like he just also, says it once. Very important question for Josh. Is Akama <laughs> Or is he a Oh. oh. Uh, I think I think he's a. Uh... In your in your dream, when you yell this, you are are lucid enough to understand that the word that you intended to say did not come out of your mouth, and rather this word Ayuk came out of your mouth, and then you wake up. Huh? What? Uh, Winnie is sleeping. Huh? Winnie is sleeping. Okay. Hey. Um, Lark is. Lark Fire is are breathing. Yeah, Lark is playing around with a torch and and a ring and just like trying different like things and like and like doing different things with a torch and a ring. And um, are you? Oh, you're on first watch, so you're awake. I'm so you 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 wake up and he's like there. I want to try to do something. Okay. I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm seeing what Lark's doing, and I'm like, well, Lark has the fire ring, and Lark's doing fire stuff. And I think Lark's pretty smart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do something wind-related with my wind ring. And I'm going to do the most the flooring thing I can think of, and he's going to take out his panpipes, and he's just going to start playing a song for his ring. <laughs> you're wearing the ring, Aww. yeah, and you're playing the song. Uh-huh. With panpipes, yep. which, are, which is a wind <laughs> instrument. Correct. I just wanted to make sure I understood the full totality of your plan. Uh-huh. Okay, make a percentile roll. <laughs> Calling it a plan is very loose. Just like the air. That's a 34. What's your wisdom? Uh, plus three. No, no, I mean 16. the actual number. 16. Okay, can I see that player's handbook for a second? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This ought to be fun. Mr. Allen. Oh, no. Yes. Might I inquire? What did you do? What is happening? John. Roll me another percentage. John, can I ask, what the fuck? Where am I? That's a 54. Sorry, 45, my mistake. So much better. <laughs> so much better. Um, you start levitating. <laughs> you you start rising from the ground, and you are still playing your flute, right? Yeah. You don't stop? Okay. Don't stop. You are levitating. Ooh. As in, like, magically levitating. <laughs> you do feel a slight bit of air, just kind of like... Imagine if there was, like, a slight um, breeze, but it was only a two-inch diameter around you. Like, a uh, two-inch radius around you. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Like you could feel like it's like somebody's put a fan on you and you're like, oh, this is nice. And you're just getting a little aired out. But like, it's not like there's wind all around the rest of the camp. It's literally just almost enveloping you and you are levitating. 
you wake up and literally see him like, he's like, hmm. And he pulls out the flute and he starts playing it. And you see the ring start to just ever so slightly glow a little bit green. And then he levitates. How far off the ground do you want to be? Um, <laughs> I, hmm. I'll say you're is five there, feet off a, the ground right now. Is there a limit? I don't know, is there? Okay. What's your slow fall damage limit? <laughs> 25. It's, it's, it's the fizzy lifting drinks. Don't take too many or you'll go too far up and you won't be able to get fizzy down. Fizzy drinks. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's go 10 feet up for now. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Still playing? Uh, I'm gonna like wave at Akam and then just continue playing. Okay. He's 10 feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking getting it. I'm gonna grab the ring. It's really clean. You got all the dust off of it from when you were laying down in the dirt. I'm gonna make an intelligence check to realize wind, wind ring, earth, earth ring. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna dig a small hole and put the ring in the hole. <laughs> while you're Throwing wearing it? Point. While you're wearing it? Yes. <laughs> um, That's the monster manual. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roll a D8. Book. That's the wrong, that's the wrong book, man. That's the, whoa, whoa. It's, it's the right I think, book. I think you wanted the wild magic table. Roll me a D8. Three. Okay. What are you concentrating on when you put it into the hole? Let me rephrase that. That came out wrong. Ground. <laughs> ground. Earth, ground, dirt. earth ring, dirt. Yeah. Dirt. Strong. Strong. Dirt. Dirt. Not other forms of ground. Mountains. Okay. A nearby mountain just so gets so nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing happens for the first like 30 seconds. The pixel rate's about to go. But down. then you start to feel movement, like in the earth, like the earth is tremoring. Something's coming closer to where you are. And it seems to be coming Dog. from kind of the east to the plains that you just went through. You could, it's like almost like you could sense the tremors in the earth. The tremors, you can sense them. He has tremors and, sense. And, <laughs> and you, Ooh. You feel like the tremors are coming closer. Postscript, none of you feel any tremors in the ground, especially not you because you're 10 feet in the air. This is, hey guys, I got tremor sense. Do you continue, <laughs> do you continue to keep your- I'm gonna push down harder. Okay, the tremors become more intense. You could sense that they're getting closer. Have I been in an earthquake before? Uh, you have felt the earth move before, yes. Long ago. Was it good or bad? It was not good. People died. <laughs> Still I tremoring. Slowly pull my hand back a little. Okay, you pull your hand back, and you know like when you put your hand into something that's gooey, it like comes, <laughs> oh, the goo comes with yeah. you. So instead, dirt comes with you. Yes. Like the, oh, yeah. 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 It kind of comes with you. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like a big dirt blob. It's hanging uh, from your hand. Wait, like, like, is it fluid? It's matter. Is it like? But with a fluid slash magnetic sort of property. You uh, pulled this dirt out. It's not like sticky or damp. It's it's dry and solid, but it has sort of a formlessness to it. Uh, 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 Florian? Mr. Allen, for, yes. um, just for me visualizing the scene, does Florian float up, like, just straight up, or is he, like... Well, it's not a windy day, <laughs> so... <laughs> is he, like, tilting around? G you, do you want to tilt around? Yeah, I think that'd be really funny. You can. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Florian, like, does... You say Florian, he does, like, a backflip in the air. Yep. Yes. I'm still uh, playing my instrument. Uh, dirt ball. I don't, I don't know what I did. I put my hand in the ground and I, I, I took it out. Uh, 
What do I do? It's still kind of just a blob of formless dirt. Florian's gonna try to fly to another yeah, five feet it. up. Oh, easily. The moment you think of going up, you just start to go up. Can I try to go horizontally? Um, how do you imagine yourself going horizontally? I imagine a gust of wind pushing me fo- forward, like a like a like a dandelion. You begin to move forward, <laughs> although it's slow. Hmm. But you feel that that wind that was like kind of surrounding you sort of like turns, and it's almost like a little tiny jet, baby jet, pushing you very slowly. All right, I think. What are you doing with the goo? I'm gonna touch it. You touch it. Your finger stinks into the dirt and it kind of surrounds you. And then when you pull it out, it's like blue, blue, and it just stays in this formless blob. Try to shake it off. (sighs) You shake it off. It hits the ground and just sits in this big, like, kind of like a sandbag. Except there's no bag. You go over and touch it again? Yep. Blue. Is it some, like, weird. Yeah. Um, where's Vermont? <laughs> mm. Roll a d12. <laughs> Uh-oh. We this left is him. never good. Oh, no. We didn't leave him. We didn't. He has been gone. You presume that he is hunting for okay. critters to eat. But he's he's been gone for a little bit. I'll stick the ring back in the ball of dirt. Can I pick it back up? Yeah. Florian. Florian takes his mouth off the windpipes. You should throw it at someone. Not me. Actually, no, me. That's funny. <laughs> I'm going to try to throw the ball of dirt at Florian. Okay. I stopped playing my windpipes. Make an athletics am check. I still, am I still floating if I'm not playing the windpipes? You continue to float. Athletics? 17. Yeah. A, a wad of dirt comes and hits you. Deflect missiles. Okay. <laughs> I'm Go going ahead. to catch it and throw it back. Okay. You have disadvantage with that. Go ahead. Uh, I don't. Okay, wait. So roll I roll damage. an attack roll. Yeah, you but roll with disadvantage. It. Huh? You roll damage for it to reduce it, right? I'm presuming it does no damage. It doesn't matter. You still have disadvantage to do this. There's a reason. Okay. Because uh, normally I don't have to roll for the damage reduction, and then normally how it works is that if you reduce the damage to zero, then you get to throw it back. But you have disadvantage. Okay, so I'm just gonna. That's. Okay, that is not very good. Eleven. <laughs> okay. It does not hit me. Um, no, it. The blob smashes into you and sort of like surrounds you, and uh-huh. and is just dripping off of you now. I'm going to float back to the ground. Okay. That's cool. Uh, let me, let me, let me oh, get that for you. I grab, like, put the ring to the dirt again. As you bring the, the ring close to it, it the, you kind of grasp it, and it sort of comes back into its blob form around your hand. Whoa. I, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with it either. I'm going to stick a sword in it. Okay. The sword <laughs> goes in just like your finger. Oh. The dirt moves around it. Occam has found crazy sand. <laughs> and he's <laughs> in his yeah. Uh, um, looking at what Occam just did, I'm gonna try to get the wind that's slowly surrounding me to like... I got him. Can I like tr- try to blow a gust at Occam or anything? Yes. Yes. Can you look up the spell Gust of Wind? Oh. I know what that spell does. What's it do? It's a wind. It's a wind tunnel, right? Yeah, in its direction for a strength save. Thirty foot line, ten feet wide. Strength save includes the spellcaster's DC. Try to read that. That sounds right. Sounds right. So Rain. you want to make that athletics check to not get blown away? <laughs> Sixty, I, I 60 like, feet long, ten feet wide. I shouldn't be like a light gust, but I think I, I think I'm push fifteen over. feet away. Yeah. Twenty four. Okay, that's enough. You you're you are blow dried like it is <laughs> whoosh and you're like whoa like it's crazy powerful. How loud is this? It's very loud. 
oh, wait a minute. Uh huh. No, you did that towards Occam. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I was. <laughs> that was funny. I like this thing. Where's Winnie? <laughs> Winnie got blown 15 feet away <laughs> in the forest. Winnie's <laughs> maybe. Uh, no, Winnie's still sleeping. Lark, however, you blew out Lark's torch. Lark has no torch. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want oil? Yes. You've had it? Yeah, what do you mean? I've had I, two I flasks take his, of oil. I take his oil. I take his oil. I take the oil. Okay. I take a sip. <laughs> I, take a, I don't drink it, but I yes. hold it in my mouth. Yeah. I hold up the ring and I go... <laughs> you go... <laughs> and oil shoots all over your no! hand in the ring. <laughs> no! Hey, no fire. Get owned. <laughs> Fine. I relight a torch. Yeah. And then I do the same thing, but with the torch. Without the ring, so I just want to put oil in mouth, oil, ring, torch, ring, torch. Or is it this? No, I don't use the ring at all. Oh, okay. I just wanted to breathe. Fire. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go, go, go ahead and do but a breathe uh, fire on the ring. But imagine. Do a dexterity check. Imagine you burn off an eyebrow. It'd be funny. <laughs> It'd be funny. Be like Adam Scott. That is fourteen. You successfully blow oil into the torch and make a. Whew. Woo! Are you a dragon? Do that. Now I am. So, so like my, my ring, let's, I have, I have a ball of dirt, right? Uh -huh. And then like Florian shot a big thing of air at me. What if you did that and like breath, breathe, breathe fire over the ring, in into the ring? Hmm? <laughs> do the same thing, but then like have the ring somewhere in front of the fire. I do the same thing, but I put the ring in front of the fire. What direction are you looking in when you do this? Not towards them. Towards okay. us, it's funny. <laughs> You're really funny, though. Fireball! Uh, you basically shoot a fire bolt from your mouth. Ooh, okay. That's what happens. It you, you shoot the oil. It passes kind of over the sphere of the ring and into the fire, and it, it shoots out for like 60 feet and lands somewhere in the, the tall grass. Is it a dry tall grass? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I mean, California. while that would be fun, no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, I, I want to. I think Florian wants to see something. If the powers... Florian, Florian that speaks in the third, the first, the third person. He totally does. I think because <laughs> um, he has the ring on his hand, right? He wants to see if the abilities it's demonstrated so far still work. If he like puts it into his hair or something instead of having it directly on his hand. Okay. If he's like, just have it, if he just has it on his person. Okay, where and how? Uh, I think he's gonna braid it into his hair. Okay. And then try to float. Mm, nothing happens. All right, I put it back and then try to float. Put on your horn. Oh, I could try putting it on the horn. Nothing happens. Oh, I can't, no float? All right. Hmm. All right, I, I, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take next watch. Second watch. So you're sleeping, you go back to sleep, or you're still sleeping? I woke up. Uh, are you staying up, Lark Othello, or are you sleeping? I'll sleep. Okay. So Perhaps. you're Perhaps. you're on watch. You have dark vision? Yep. Let's make a uh, roll a d20. 18. Okay. Um. What are you doing while you're on watch? Um, I'm going to be in the middle of the camp, looking around, kind of watching the 60 feet perimeter that he's going to be just, you know, kind of looking for, but at the same time, kind of like messing with the ring, putting it back against the ground, like doing whatever, throwing more dirt places. Um, the blob eventually fades into just normal dirt. Okay. It kind of just collapses into dirt. Um, an hour into your watch, you hear something coming from the Great Forest. What size? Sounds like it's moving pretty stealthily. Like you barely hear some, some like twigs. And then a few moments go by and you hear like, Vermont, is that you? Hi. 
Return of the king. And you see, pushing through the bushes is Vermont. And he apparently has captured a couple things for a hunt. You see a half devoured rabbit, like just the bottom half of the rabbit. And there's like a huge chunk that obviously demonstrates he's eaten it. And it's like over his shoulder with one hand, one of his four hands. And then three of the other hands is holding an egg. Not like a chicken egg, a big fucking, a big egg. Like a big egg. Big fucking egg. Like how big? Um, ostrich? Are we talking? Yeah, some sort like of this, this size, color? right? It's it's kind of a pale yellowish. And he's now he hasn't cracked that one open. He's just he's carrying it, but he's and when he sees you, he's like, and he shows you his like half-eaten. Um, yeah. And then the other three arms are holding the egg, and he's, yeah. and he's like, oh, yeah. and then he comes over, and he, you see, he like kind of leans over towards closer to the circle where you guys are, and he lays the the egg down on the ground carefully, and then he's he sits down and he pulls the the haunch of the um, rabbit out, and he just starts tearing at the flesh, and he's like, oh, it's her. I'm gonna trump into that rabbit I caught earlier, and then finish off whatever berries I had I've okay. left. Um, Vermont finishes the rest of the rabbit and his, his, his tummy is full. <laughs> it's just, he's, and he's, you could tell he has like drowsy eyes and he's like, ah. and he like lays down. He kind of curls up next to the egg and like one arm is over the egg. The other three arms are kind of around the sides of it. And he sort of curls up and soon he's sleeping. Content. I'll stay near Vermont for the rest of the watch and just kind of look out. Okay. Um, Do I smell anything? No. I mean, the air has cooled down. It's it's pretty, you know, it's let's see, it's like midnight now. Um, but make me another perception check. Eight. You are on your watch, kind of looking out to the grassy areas, look behind you occasionally to the forest, you know. Nothing that you really see within your vicinity. I'm gonna whisper. And then something Whoa. big swoops down from the sky. A big bird flies down oh, and, and you literally, you're like, like a second before it attacks you. You're like, oh, and you like duck and, and cover and it flies down its claws raking through the air, but missing you. And it swoops down and starts to fly. Vermont, next to me with the egg still? He is. Roll initiative. It's not just a boulder, it's, it's a, a rock. rock. Wow, these dice suck, cry. Are we all roll initiative? Uh, you're Natural. asleep. 20. Okay. You see a large bird-like creature with, I mean, when I say large, it's like the size of you. All right. Um, with antlers. Parrot, huh? It's a parrot. Antlers? I don't know a bird with antlers. Yes, you've never seen anything like this before. Oh, no. And it has a weird head too. It's got a really weird head. Ooh. And it's in the air, yeah? Kind of looks like a deer's head on a giant eagle's body. Why you look like that? And it is circling around. I'm gonna place the ring to the ground again and go, uh, Kanag slash Ayuk, can I give him another ball of dirt to throw out the, the weird bird thing? And or could you make a pillar that just shoots up and like, uh, like in the stomach of the bird? Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you said, spend you like... your action doing that. <laughs> Does nothing happen? Can you yell um, really we'll loudly see. and wake us up? You guys are sleeping. That's true. I am sleeping. I am sleeping. We are sleeping. It's true. Sleep. true. The creature swoops down again, missing you. Does it like Maybe call Maybe loudly? not missing you. What's your armor class? 14. What sound? Yeah, it misses you. What sound a deer make? It flies by again. It was a human scream. It's pretty cool. It's, it's really weird. Shh. All right, so 
No, no, there's no tremors in the earth. Nope. Josh, consider your throw me at it. Um, all the rest of you, what's your passive perception? 13, 16, 13, 12. You wake up to something, some commotion. Mm -hmm. What's yours? 13. Nope, you're still asleep, you're still asleep. You wake up, um, Vermont is also awake and, and now aware. And I'm, I'm standing above Vermont Okay. and the egg. Okay. What's going on? Do you have dark vision, Winnie? No. Okay. <laughs> um, stay very low to the ground. Roll okay. initiative, Winifred oh, Birch. Okay. 15. Okay. Just go back to sleep. I Nothing's think... happening. I don't know. You... I, don't know <laughs> I absolutely yet. have my sword out. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, as Occam is telling you, yeah. you see a large, strange winged creature with the head of a deer and antlers flying down ah. to swoop and attack. It doesn't seem so much to be swooping in towards you, though you are kind of nearby. It seems to be making a dive bomb attack towards Occam. Do I see the big fucking egg? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you see Vermont and an egg and Occam standing over it. And a bird-like creature. Yes, you do. Occam, did Vermont steal an egg? Maybe it's our breakfast. Give me back! No! Yes! No! Oh, yes! no. I rolled a 20. <laughs> oh, no! How sad. <laughs> All right, um, Occam, you are arguing <laughs> in defense of the egg, which is, I mean... You should it's a big that. egg! You should totally do it's that. It's all the protein It's our egg. Egg. Insane <laughs> macros, dude. Insane macros. Insane macros. Is it worth it? It's 2 so... <laughs> Larth out here asking the real Six, questions. 12. Thank you, Larth. So you take 12 I'm piercing asleep. damage as its so talons grasp out at you. Come on. Whoa! Rafa's dice are starting oh, wait. Is it to kill it. Is it within 60 feet of me? Yeah. That crit doesn't do double damage. Why? Do because, you have a reaction? Because I can use my reaction to cancel crits as a great player. How? Uh, Sentinel at Death's Door. If they're within 30 feet. How many of those can you cancel? Um, I can only do one per round, but I have three that I can do. I won't cancel the first one, but I'll cancel the second one. Okay, so this is not a crit, but a hit. It's, it's a hit, but yeah, it doesn't do the crit damage. Okay. So um, you're going to take uh, 11 more. Um, and it <laughs> it is now... It didn't do a flyby because it's grasping onto you, clawing, raking, and and like trying to gore you with its deer antlers. Is there still that hole in the ground from the ball of dirt I made before? It's a small hole, yes. How far away is it from me? Ten feet away. Ten feet? Bonus action rage. Yes. I will move ten feet. Yes. I'm going to try to grab this creature by the torso and slam it as hard as I can in the hole. I love grapple attacks. Let's do this. Um, Oops, you're going to win because I rolled a two. two. No, I mean roll anyway, but I'm sure you're going to win. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he rolls a what? So you, gra <laughs> you grab this thing and you're like, like, ha, oh, and you just just like, like whip it to the ground. And slam it into the ground. Uh, <clears throat> Roll, roll me a d4, and then you can add your rage damage bonus Yippee. to this bludgeoning pain that you were ensuing. Four. Nice. Uh, well played. I'm six, it's still plus two. Uh, and then can I add strength? <laughs> no. Oh. oh, wait, you're wearing the ring. Yes, you can. Oh, yay. Uh, so these two are yelling, and a giant bird just got slammed into the ground. Eight. Bludgeoning damage, assumedly. Magical. You successfully slam it to the ground. Your turn. You use your reaction, but what else would you like to do? All right, we're killing the bird. Oh, also, both of you are awake now because okay. you hear like, <clears throat> protect what? the egg. What? Hey. You are up, what Winifred I... Birch. Okay. Did we roll in the sleep? Told that that would be a very bad Momentarily. idea. Momentarily. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull the dead. Uh, what role do I have to make? Wisdom save, right? For the bird? Oh, yeah, you're not as dumb as I thought. Against your DC of something higher than 40, 10? Yeah. Yeah, what's the damage? 2d12. 2d12. Uh, 14 points of necrotic damage as the equivalent of a Taco Bell. Do, 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 do. No, it's a Taco Bell, like, 
Ooh. Dong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's loud. <laughs> Everybody in the forest hears it. Yep. All the dragons hear it. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Who has the higher dexterity? I have plus three. Cool. That doesn't matter. Roll initiative. <laughs> awesome. Do, 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 do. Lark Othello, can you fix it? Lark yeah. Othello. Where's my initiative? I haven't watched that show. Oh. So long. 15. You win. There's a bird deer. A deer bird. A dirt. Huh? A dirt. A beer. And Occam is just body sliming it Thanks, onto uh, baby. the ground. We gotta kill it now. We found breakfast. Barbot found us breakfast. Hold on, and hold on. Very wait, 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 wait. Your specter friend is guarding that egg with Bonus all action. four arms. I'm gonna activate, and a chubby belly. I'm gonna activate all my astral self that I can in two arms and the antler the antler helmet <laughs> are conjured. And now I can see in the dark, and now I can punch more. Okay. Like, now, what are you going to do with that? I can see it now. Uh, is it like stuck in the ground now? No, it's not stuck. Okay. He he grappled it successfully and body slammed it, but it, it can it can try to break free, or it could just attack. But... I'm gonna punch it. Okay, punch away. It will also have to make a deck save because I activated my astral arms. Oh, do. Oh. Hey, look at that. Uh, fifteen. Success takes on damage. Two attacks. Uh, both those are above twenty. Yeah. And it's gonna have to make a what save is this? Um, it has to make an intelligence save. No, it's. I think. I think it's. That's probably not gonna I, succeed. It's not here. I don't know what, why. What ability is it? Stunning strike. <laughs> okay, um, it fails. Oh, there it is. It's con. It's a con. It doesn't have any bonus that will get it higher than your spell save DC. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna be. Um, 12 force damage and it is stunned. It's my turn. It it hurts. It, it it is stunned. I hit it on either side of the head with the astral You're off. fists and it just goes. <laughs> Do what, is we're fighting the bird? Why? Breakfast. Okay, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. Like, like still laying dead. Just... Proceed. I think I get two, don't I? Yeah. 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 We'll see. Lark like takes a face mask off. <laughs> okay. Uh, 18 and 14. Ouch and ouch. That means he hits. <laughs> That's really a die. Hit the uh, 10 plus 6, 16. <laughs> it dies. Its head just whoosh, crashes. Its wings stop flapping. And it, more breakfast. The green energy fades away from fucking It's says, you, I, I you feel like there's a significant amount of meat on this. You're not sure if it's bird meat or deer meat, but this thing is this has some some possibilities. It also has a very nice rack. That's what they call a mm -hmm. antlers on a deer. And uh, I just wanted to mention that to you because this is a medium-sized creature with a large deer head that has antlers. It's dead now, and it has antlers. I was just positing that to you. <laughs> I'm taking the antlers. I mean. I don't know why, I don't know how you could have come up with that one. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. Um, Florian instantly falls it's back asleep. Bedtime. Yeah, good yeah good I night. think Lark does the same. Good night. Do you, you know who doesn't? Vermont. <laughs> Vermont is like, Rawr. and he like goes over to the to the corpse, and he's like, and he's like, you've eaten kind of, a lot today, Vermont. He's, he's looking at him, and he's like, don't, don't you think it's your bedtime? And he goes over, kind of like by the one of the back legs, and he kind of feels around, and he's like, and he takes a bite and kind of pulls this tough meat, and he's you see him like chewing it, and he's like, ah, ah, and like go over and take one of my claws, and he spits out some of the fur at the. Uh, Deer head, yeah. Just pop an eyeball out and hand it to Vermont. He smells it. He, he tastes it, and he's like, then he chews it, and he's like, Rah! and he grabs the other eyeball himself, and then he goes back to the egg and kind of curls up around it and sleeps. I will use the rest of my watch to uh, 
dehorn or de antler and then also uh, cut some meat off the bones of this creature. Okay, make a survival check. I'm decent. You're, you're going to skin it and try to find some valuable parts to this. What? Holy. Mr. Allen. That's a two. <laughs> that will be you're like, exactly I will get these six. antlers, and you're like, and you crack them, and you're like, fudge. You Classic broke the Occam antlers. Line. I think Occam can say. I, I think I get, I get the one PG-13. <laughs> fudge. Mm, I broke the cool antlers. I'm still so upset. You spend the rest the of your, um, you, you want to just take the broken antlers? They're broken. I'll eat them. Okay. Wait. Yeah. I mean, it's Calcium. like, you're like, ha. Insane macros. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Throughout the night, we are consistently rewoken up by. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is like somebody eating the loudest potato chips <laughs> right in your ear. Are there more, is there marrow in antler? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll be going, for the, I'll be like going for the marrow. Leaning yes. over you. Like. <laughs> I mean, you have a trophy. It's not a Wait, perfect who's trophy. The next watch? It has no value, but Winifred it has Bush. value to you. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. I'll take some antlers. You finish out your watch antlers. and you are tired and get to decide to go to sleep. You wake up Winifred. I put the ring and mm-hmm. soar back on the ground, fall asleep, wake up Winifred. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somewhat that order. You wake up. Yep. It is, uh, well, the last watch, so I'm going to say it's like, Three in the morning, and it's you mm-hmm. don't have dark vision, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were yep. you were on your watch. Yep. How would you like to? Is there anything special you want to do? I don't know, like maybe light a fire, <laughs> have a torch, <laughs> nope. perhaps yeah. a small candle. No. No. You I just. Wanna, I want an orb. I want to. I want to. At the orb. Oh, I forgot. You pull out the orb. Yeah. Pull so. The orb. Um, it's you can see because you got moonlight. You can see uh-huh. like right in front of you. You know your friends fall asleep. You're kind of looking at the orb, mm-hmm. and uh, it is remarkably smooth. Mm-hmm. And as your eyes adjust to like the dim light that you have from the moon, you look in the orb and you see it. It is not just pure black anymore. Mm. You, it almost seems like there's movement inside of it. Like as if inside of this orb was kind of like a smoke, like swirling around inside of it slowly, or maybe some liquid. Yeah, you shake, shake it, it up. Like a magic eight ball. You, you see it actually has like, it. there's some motion inside of it. You've got the darkness snow globe. Hello? It was figured out it. Hi. Little guy in there? Hello? How, how long do you spend with this? 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes That's of what are you going? Four hours. It goes, ha? <laughs> the rest. Hello? After about 30 minutes, you 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 hear a voice in your head. Uh-huh. And it says, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> wake up? I don't. Me after 30 minutes of talking to the little guy when he tells me to wake up. So wait. Is this like in my brain or is it like I hear it? Yes. Both? <laughs> I, I, I'm already awake. I Are think. you sure? I think I'm awake. You hear something move maybe 10 feet away. I, I look. The dead deer bird is huh? twitching and then its head, which no longer it's shorn of its antlers. Mm-hmm. Its head kind of looks up at you and its dead eyes kind of like, there aren't eyes, there's just mm-hmm. eye sockets. Mm-hmm. And it kind of, but the head kind of looks towards you and then it sort of like gets up and it's just standing with its, its claws and its wings are sort of like stretching out and it's just looking at you. Hi, you're weird. What's your name? It doesn't respond. It's just looking is at this... you. I'm gonna look at her. Did you do that? Did you? Did you do that? Oh God! You have the, the death orb. <laughs> How? We go back to the town. And we go. What did you give us? <laughs> I'm gonna like walk up to the thing with the orb. Okay. I'm gonna like move it. It follows the orb. Ooh. It doesn't have <laughs> eyes. Remember. Yeah. It doesn't have eyes. There's just holes where there were eyes. It's like a cat. But with you like move a hand. it, and it, it basically follows 
the tra- the trail of what you're doing. That's this is a question. Is Vermont's stomach currently churning? That's the the eyes of the creature are moving inside of it. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Fuck you. Bro. Remember that they have they have like shark. They have double rows of teeth. So that's a blit. It's like a liquid now. <laughs> Me that when the so liquid funny. churns. Uh... <laughs> I churn my liquid. <laughs> Go look at the look at the thing. Do a little dance. I'm gonna try to like command it. It starts to circle around. <gasps> in place, just oh. kind of like with its two claws. This is horrifying! And it sort of slow moves its wings. This is terrifying, actually. This is great! When you can um, control the dead. Alright, uh, you can go now, Mr. Mr. Zombie, sir. Mr. Zombie? Mrs. Zombie, sir. <laughs> it, it kind of hops on its wings and it starts, or hops on its claws and starts to flap its wings and it starts hopping away with its wings flapping, but it never gets into the air. Um, I, I, I meant like you're, you, you can go back to like dead. But, oh, all right. I'm gonna put the orb it back. It just with. starts going out into the plains. <laughs> well, all right. It's like, oh, sh- oh boy, I sure am what? glad that I'm tilling my fields and having a great <laughs> time on this farmer's day. Th- Holy <laughs> Christ, what the hell is what? that? <laughs> Thank you, Tyke. I'm gonna put the thing away. I'm just gonna go back to my watch. Okay. The rest of your watch passes uneventfully, and you are happy to find that the the dawn has arrived. Um, You look out over the plains, you know, and you see to the east, the open land leading towards, you know, where you you were before, to the west of the great forest uh, that you will pass through on your way to the mountains. But you feel fairly confident that um, you've rested enough and You know, you don't see any major threats. As you are about to like wake up your friends because Mm -hmm. they're all asleep and your shift is over and the the sun has arrived, you you look um, out one more time at the horizon. And in the sky where the sun is rising, you see something else rising in front of the sun. And it's it's not a bright, it's not a bright light, it's dark. And it's, it starts off really small, like a shadow. <laughs> but then you see this thing rise in front of the sun and it's almost like another sun, but it's black. Is it like an eclipse? It, it's like an eclipse, which is something you've heard of, but it's an eclipse at dawn. And you see oh. the sun is eclipsed and it's dark. I'm gonna wake everyone up. You go to wake everyone up and no one wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> You you firmly shove people like you slap people. No one wakes up. Pull out the Vermont knife. doesn't wake They're up. They're alive, yeah. They seem to be alive, but in some kind of deep sleep. The knife, Winnie. Well, the knife. <laughs> oh, not the. You I'm hear a that. sound back from the east. It's very distant, but it's almost like an echo. Turn. It is a high-pitched sort of screaming sound. And you see this eclipsed sun on the horizon, but Mm -hmm. you see movement now, another kind of movement coming from that dark sort of sun that eclipsed the original sun. Yeah. Something's flying. (laughs) At me? From that distance, from that direction, Uh towards you guys. Uh Uh-huh. Hmm, well, fuck. Uh, (laughs) I think when he's like, uh, uh, all right. You hear the screaming again. Uh, I'm gonna use my sending spell to Sabella that I have with my shield. Yes. Uh, so no one's. Oh wait, no one's waking up. The sun is dark. There's a thing flying at me. What do I do? We're <laughs> right outside your forest. Bye. You. <laughs> five. Five. You send the sending. Mm-hmm. You feel the connection that mm-hmm. you made. And with all sendings, there is a response. Mm-hmm. The response that you get is, wake, wake up. up. <laughs> and that is where we'll end this episode of D&D with oh, oh, what, the what the Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in. And uh, thank you always for your support. 
for liking, subscribing, and continuing to follow look, this silly I think adventure. He paid the party. Um, Great. We'll find out what I happens in the next the episode party. of D&D with high school students. So thanks, everybody. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. So we just Bye. got back. <laughs>